What is up, y'all? It's the first day here in Barcelona. I arrived yesterday evening, so I went straight to bed. And now it's the first day. Kind of escaped from the bad German weather. So I'm here in shorts, bro. I kind of hate wearing shorts because the fits are always like kind of the same. But uh, weather is great. Heading to a sandwich store now. It's called Barcelona Sandwich Club. Looked amazing interior wise. So let's get it going, man. Hi. Right. So that's the spot. Looks pretty cool, like interior wise. Seen on Google Maps. Uh, yeah. They have like pastrami sandwiches and like fresh juices, I guess. So, mad hungry, bro. I'm literally just like starving. You have the espresso side, the espresso machine, the grinders, and we have the espresso menu. Okay. On the other side, we have all the pull over, all the filter stations. We have even here the. the What's up, guys? So we're here at Nomad Coffee right now. Uh, we both got a Honda espresso. The same? It's basically a coffee shop that specializes in like uh, different beans so you don't get like normal coffee you get like special flavors like this one is from Wanda and we also got one from Myanmar so a special flavor and uh, yes, today's the first day in Barcelona amazing city so far uh, never been here never been in Spain so We'll probably visit a wine shop later on and then get some drinks, maybe go to like an opening party of like a burger shop. So uh, trying the coffee now, but amazing city so far. Man. And good weather, t-shirt, shorts, you know. That's amazing store. Super minimalistic, but very nice. Hello. Hello. That one's crazy. All right, folks, successfully picked one record up. Uh, pretty good store, actually. It's like super small, but very really nice selection. Mostly house and techno, the house. And they got like three records player. And, uh, very cool stuff. And it's already getting late, it's like 6 p.m. Probably uh, getting something to eat now, then heading to a bar later. And uh, First impression to the city, very nice. Gives me like a little bit of Paris vibes in terms of the stores and shit. Yeah, usually do the same. When I come to when I come to a new city, I check out like the local cafes, stores, and actually exploring the city when hopping from spot to spot. So uh, that's what I'm doing. Love the architecture here, the people. I haven't tried the food yet, but checking out now. Probably tapas. So it is day two now and what we have done is basically we were riding around the city with these e-bikes and now we're meeting up with a few friends on my way to Aesop or Aesop to this date I don't know how to pronounce it right I'm kind of eyeing this new fragrance they've launched recently and the Marrakesh Intense since I need a new scent for summer so we're going there uh, also got a few concept stores on the list. Uh, shout out Jimmy for hooking me up with the spot. It's called Lady Jump. Uh, definitely need something to eat bro, it's like it's been a while, just getting a little snack uh, to go. This one actually not bad. Like similar to the ones from Duke and Dexter. 
and uh, really been looking for some brown leather shoes. But, uh, I'll bookmark these, very nice. We're here in a store called 12 Puladas, I guess. Puladas. I like skate shop selection, dime, polar, uh, local brands. Clarks, Clarks on Fire 2. So it's either loafers, these ones, or Clarks for the next pickup. Um, I'm not picking up anything yet, bro. My suitcase is packed. It's like, if I have one more item, shit will blow up. So. Probably the best store I've been to in Barcelona yet. They love me. Is this a new colorway? Yeah. Nice with uh, green. Because I only use the uh, all white one. I prefer this. I think it's more good. And for the camos, and you know, I think it's a good color. For White ones, I think this material is for cleanup is too bright. Yeah. Yes. Very nice. Never owned the uh, XC6. Super confident. As you say, very nice uh, color palette. My get is honestly. Because I've been looking for a good pair of uh, shoes for summer. Uh, preferably like low tops, loafers. Been kind of tired of slides. So, uh, maybe, honestly. Picked them uh, Salomons up. And I gotta say, man. Crazy, bro. Crazy, crazy city. Uh, it's been my first time in Spain, in Barcelona, and uh, bro, like the weather is crazy, the people are very friendly, the stores are good. I mean, it's not the craziest selection, but like from the vibes and you basically get everything you need, man. The spots are crazy, the food is good, man. We had some amazing tapas yesterday. Um, I'll show some pics now. And it's shout out to the owner from uh, 12 Palgadas, I guess, the store. Uh, he know me over kimchi, the kimchi, uh, which is crazy because like I have like 3k subs, so kind of crazy. It is day four, probably the last day, like the real last day. We're leaving tomorrow. A little bit cooked, bro. I'm allergic to pollen and it's fucking me up every spring, but whatever. I'm here in uh, Badalona right now uh, to visit a showroom from Epilogue or Epilogue uh, Vintage. I think some of you may notice it's like a selected vintage store in for like the European market. So we're going there right now. It's like your appointment only, but he invited me. I'm um, uh, chill with the owner, so can't wait, man. So let's get it going, bro. For sure. Uh, here, Russell Athletic, Russell Athletic, some Patagonia pieces, also really oh, fun. Yeah. Of it. This one, Russell? Uh, yeah. Oh, I love red hoodies. Yeah. Do you have. By decade, you have some sort of uh, uh, 2000 ones. You have this one, for example. You can see pretty easy that the the the, yes. the way that it's made is is coming from the 90s. Uh, boxy feet. Um, 
I think a lot of people notice how good Russell fits. Yeah. Because I've seen many brands that copy the same shape, the same same style of hood. Yeah. So this is quite short and the the sleeves are also yeah. quite short, the shoulders is open, super open. Very nice. That gray is essential. Uh, I really like it this time. Some um yeah. This one. Quite nice. This one is nice. Yeah. But I really like this one. Also very nice. Cargo. It's like Dutch Army. Yeah. This is a um, M51, also from the from 50s, Korean. Crazy. Um, oh, T-shirts. Um, pretty much like um, 90s graphic T-shirts. Um, I'm also looking for some faded. Uh, I, I always check like uh, graphics. Yeah. I really like it when they're a little blurry, yes. a little bit um, uh, well used. I'm pretty much into uh, dark colors. I really like dark colors. And Definitely, it's harder to find a gray black t shirt than a white t shirt. Yes. This type of thing. This one is crazy. Yeah. Very great selection. I'm definitely trying this one yeah. because I went to the site for like uh, last week yeah. and I wanted to buy it, but then I thought maybe I can buy it. So. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it, man. Um, they have pretty much like white and black, some sort of color, but I, I mostly go from white and black and some blues, but mostly these. Yeah. So, Jonah, do you remember that I told you that these are? Uh, Oye, uh, 107 from the 60s yeah. shirts. So this is pants too here? Um, left one are pants, this one are, are shirts, and the other one, this one is also pretty much a nice piece if, if you want to take it for 101. Canadian. You think this could fit me? Say again? You think this could fit me? Try on. Very unique uh, color. Yeah. Making like a apple green. Yeah, apple green. I'm using this ray right here. Oh yeah, yeah. This one's super nice. Very unique color. Uh, Either this or this one. Crazy. This one is so nice. It's like slightly cream. Slightly cream, yeah, because yeah. It, um, I put it on oxy before it was a little bit more yellow. Oh. But now I think it's, it's a little bit. It's perfect. Warm. I really like the text, the design. I really like the back. It's a bit too long. You can just crop it. That one's nice too. And the selection was crazy brother Russell's man. I picked up this bluish type of hoodie and I gotta say for summer this will go crazy like super nice blue, nice sun faded. It's a bit white at the hem, but it is what it usually is, so I just bring it to the tailor, uh, make it a bit tighter, and then we're good to go, man. Super fire store, uh, shout out Epilo Vintage, check it out, crazy selection, and uh, now I'm just grabbing something to eat. Crazy, man.